Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another COTC video. All right, in today's video, we are gonna be covering Krauser, who is the newest tr memory traveler that is coming to the game on this week. He is from the master of all storyline. If you hadn't remember, he was one of the big bad generals that we fought and of course defeated. So it's very exciting that he is now coming and joining our roster. So if you're curious to know more about him and his kit, then keep on watching and let's get into it. All right, so who is Krauser? He is a merchant and he has the wind element. Now, he's not really a merchant, he just has a spear. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm considering him a general for his job, but nonetheless, his roles in this game are that he has a lot of damage with his spears, he has the potential for nukes, and he is a taunt tank. Now, I don't know if I would necessarily use him as a tank myself, especially when we have Fiora in the game, but he is somebody who can taunt enemies and it provides a AoE buff to the party, so doesn't hurt, but um, I guess technically he could be, a, he could be a, a tank for the party. And for his stats, really good attack stat, really good defense, lower on the elemental attack side, but that does not matter at all. Higher on the elemental defense, a really nice crit stat for other merchants, and he is lacking on the speed. And so for his notable skills, I apologize in advance that this is very small text, but his kit is super complex, so I definitely recommend using the spreadsheet that is available in the Discord that lists out all of the characters' uh, different skills as a part of their kits, or just take a screenshot of this so you have it for the future. But he has a three hit single target spear attack that has 65 potency. He has a buff that he can grant himself that's 15% attack and crit up. A two hit single target wind attack for 75 potency. He's got that AoE taunt that provides an AoE attack buff for the party. And now he's got uh, these next, the, the, the skills coming up have, you can see there's an increased wall power enhanced or an increased wall multi attack enhanced. So I'm gonna just jump down to where you see the four hit AoE and that six hit single target attack. So that four hit AoE spear attack is only able to be used once per battle, but it has a 45 potency and it grants a very important buff that's called Power Enhancement for three turns. Now what Power Enhance does is it buffs uh, several of his other attacks. So if we go back up to the one that says a two hit AoE Spear Attack, it has a 50% potency increase while he has that Power Enhanced buff and then it has a 95 uh, potency. So you're looking at that jumping up to, I don't know, 140, um, something like that. Um, now, if we go down to uh, the skill right below that, there's the one hit single target spear attack that has, a, a, again, a 50% potency while power enhanced. And then down at the bottom, same thing, a one hit single target spear attack, 50% potency increase while power enhanced, 260 potency. So what power enhanced does is it's providing a 50% potency increase while that buff is active. And now for that six hit single target spear attack with 30 potency, that will grant him the multi attack enhancement for three turns. And what that does for those same uh, skills is it provides one additional hit while that buff is active. So if two hits up to three hits, that one hit up to two hits, one hit up to two hits. So it's a little complex, but um, you can see that he has a, a lot of potential with dealing a lot of damage, uh, even though it's a one per use battle. But his ultimate, sneak, uh, sneak peek into his ultimate, re restores his ability to use those once per battle uh, skills. So. 12 total opportunities to use the power enhance and the multi attack enhance in a fight. It's a little limiting for longer fights, but this is a, a unique uh, unique buff as a lot of these hits can use the you know one extra hit or the skill can use that 50% potency increase. So um, yeah, I would definitely screenshot this one or go look at the spreadsheet to have for reference because this is very complex. Uh, at least for me, um, and you, at least that way you'll always have something that you can reference yourself. All right, and now for his ultimate technique, a 20% attack, defense, and speed buff for four turns. 
and it resets his one per use battle skills so that you've got uh, the, the four turns of those buffs. So then just go back and use those once per battle moves and start uh, dealing out a ton more damage. And for his passives, 15% spear damage up, and when he has critical HP, he will always deal critical hits after that. That 15% spear damage up is really great. The critical HP thing, I don't know, we I feel like we all always use regen on everybody, um, so not sure how effective that one will be, uh, depending on your strategy. And so for his A4 accessory, uh, 60 attack, 40 crit, 40 speed, and the buff is an, another 15% spear damage up, and then 15% spear resist down on all enemies at the start of the battle. Uh, so he clearly is just purely damage focus. He's got a little bit of tanking capabilities, but he if you were to A4 him and go all out, you have a very, very solid uh, spear attacker. Um, the best that we currently have in this game. All right, for his pros, a very strong nuker, um, excellent spear damage, something that I feel we're lacking, AoE and single target high damage potential, his ultimate technique can restore his one per battle skills, and for the cons, not a big deal, but a very complex kit, um, can run out of optimal damage in those longer fights, so I'm thinking like arenas or uh, challenge content that's coming up in the future, um, he may just run out of his um, uh, full potential kind of early, and not only that too, but uh, those skills cost a lot of SP, so uh, you know you want to build a weapon that's centered around attack for him, but at the same time don't ignore the fact that he does need um, more SP or at least ways to really regenerate that SP uh, faster than normal. All right, and am I gonna pull? No, Rondo is next week. So um, Rondo, if you've <laughs> if you're watch my channel, you know he's number one for me. Um, so nope, I'm going to be uh, passing on Krauser, but I'm sure Krauser, uh, I can't remember if they said or not, so if somebody could put in the chat, or down in the comments, I think Krauser is going to be on Rondo's banner, as a, it could be like an off-banner pull, but don't quote me on that. Um, so yeah, no plans on pulling for Krauser. He is a really good uh, character in my opinion, but I want to save everything I have for Rondo. Um, so yeah, this is Krauser. Are you excited for him? I know he had a lot, there was a lot of whispers this past week or two that he was going to be the Traveler released on the 23rd, so I'm really curious to hear your thoughts about him. What's your take on his complex kit, and is he somebody that you're just going to throw right into your party? I'm really curious to hear your thoughts, as always. The Tavern Talk today talked about version 2.2, which is yet again another banger of an update. Uh, we've got Rondo, we've got Four Star Awakenings, we have uh, Cerna, who is one of those Forbidden Eleven that everybody you know keeps talking about. There's lots of really exciting stuff coming up. We can use uh, the Kate skip tickets, um, and I think that's it. There's like there's some missions with for, uh, rubies. There's yeah, so it's a good update. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for the patch notes or go rewatch the Tavern Talk if you haven't yet. But yeah, as always, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon for a long-awaited video that I've wanted to make, which is for Rondo himself. Have a good one.